Yeah, question. Um, the editor button that you showed us, yeah. um, for instance, I inherited a WordPress site, yeah. and um, it was done custom. Is that editor button going to be there so that I could do this download? So if you want to download the pages and edit them locally on the computer, you're probably better off using FTP to access those. Um, so what because I don't know where, like I don't know who created the theme. Mm -hmm. All where themes are stored in a specific folder on the WordPress installation, and it's in the WP content folder. And then in that, you'll find a folder called themes, and you can download that theme from there. So if you can FTP to the site, you go to WP content, you go to themes, and you'll be able to download that content. Yeah, and actually, if anybody else is using Dreamweaver, because that came up, there's a, a plugin for Dreamweaver um, that does sort of uh, allow you to work more easily with WordPress. One of the problems with working with an uh, offline site is that it's spread across multiple pages, but with this um, plugin, it sort of merges them all together so you can more easily edit it. So, kind of a neat thing to know about. Yeah. Um, so, for the uh, plugins that are not uh -huh. Will they always be listed under the settings? It really depends on the plugin, um, whether it's going to have a settings area or not. Um, it, it, you're going to have to, when you find a plugin, um, look at the installation instructions and then the documentation for how to use that plugin. Every plugin is a little bit different, okay. so it might require more coding um, to use that plugin. So, and when you say more coding, when you took, I noticed you took a quick look at the installation. Yep. And that tells you what types of things. Correct. Um, well, that's both a question and a statement. So it's telling you the types of things that are, um, if you have to use extra coding for it to show up as a setting, or yep. the types of coding you might have to put in for where it's going to show up on the site. Correct. So the, uh, to extrapolate your question, the question was, I looked at the installation page on the plugin, and was I looking at that to see how complicated the, the installation was, or how hard it was, would be to implement that? Yes, because there might be additional steps that are required. With a widget, again, all you have to do is install the widget. Once it's activated, you just drag it over to wherever you want it to appear. That's it, every, every time, right? Now, you might have more areas, depending on the theme you have, but roughly that's all you have to worry about with widgets. With plugins, there may be more coding. Uh, it may have more or less additional options under the settings page. You know, so it's kind of more up in the air in terms of how that functions, but it might add a lot more functionality than a widget would because a widget only exists in a small area of the, of the site. So yeah, exactly. You want to look at the installation and figure out whether you can do that or whether it's something you're comfortable with before you jump you know, right into it. And then installation page also says, uh, which I think I've already asked this, but just to re-clarify, it will say maybe this uh, <coughs> plugin will appear at the bottom of every year. Right, yeah, so. The plugin developer would that way. Yes. So when you look at the installation page and the screenshots and FAQ, you're going to determine from those links by clicking on them if they've done the documentation. I usually will do that first, is look through it and see, oh, okay, well, this says that all I have to do is click activate and it does it, right? That's what I want. Or it says, well, it requires me to copy and paste this code into some area. Well, maybe that's something I'm not so comfortable with. You know, so you really want to know what you're getting your, yourself into. With the widget, you can roughly assume it's going to be what we just saw, which is just you activate it and drag it into the area you want it to go, whereas the plugin is going to be uh, maybe more work, potentially more work. Yeah? Is it fairly easy to disable features on WordPress that you're not? I want to exactly. cover that second. Okay. So let's get through the plugins and the widgets. Everybody kind of feeling comfortable roughly what they do and why you use them and what's so cool about them, and, and also why WordPress.com versus WordPress.org. Is it making more sense than when you started? That's the goal. <laughs> yeah. When you look at an end site, yeah. can you tell whether or not it's a widget or a plugin that's not going into the dashboard? Can you just intrinsically tell? Generally speaking, if you're looking at a site without, not the admin panel, you mean? Generally speaking, a widget would probably be in a sidebar or in a certain side area of the page, whereas anything in the middle might would probably be a plugin. But it might even be difficult to tell whether something's a plugin other than you know you go to the site and you say, oh well it has Facebook comments and I know WordPress doesn't have anything for Facebook comments. It must be a plugin. You know, so it, it might be difficult to tell when you're looking at the end result page 
what's happening. Um, so question was about settings, and I do want to mention this because I should have covered this in the dashboard, but um, we did touch upon this briefly, and uh, I think we're we're all ready for a, a sigh and some water maybe, uh, which is good. But I just want to point this out because the settings are important to know about as well. There's um, under the settings panel, you'll find all the general settings uh, within WordPress. So you have um, general, uh, which has to do with the name of the site, um, you know, different things like the, the date stamp and where you are. Um, so if, if you're on the East Coast or West Coast or whatever. Um, now, some questions about, um, this actually came up earlier too. There's discussion, which has to do with commenting. So this is where you would enable or disable comments or control how comments appear. Um, typically, comments are enabled by default on posts, um, but not necessarily on pages. Uh, reading, this is going to have to do with how many posts appear on a page. Um, you know, so if you want to have like 12 posts on your blog, so it's sort of long versus short. Um, another thing that's kind of interesting that I find is, is difficult for people who are new to WordPress is knowing the permalink thing, which is important to know because it's good to know at the start um, and then because it really sets the where things are going. It has to do with how the, um, the URL appears. So um, by default, if you do nothing, you're going to get this weird question mark, P equals, and then some number on, on your pages. And, um, you can actually customize what that appears as uh, here. And there's really good documentation on this. I don't want to go through a full demo of it right now, but if you go to wordpress.org and read about permalinks, it's, it's a good thing to know about when you're setting up a site to kind of know what you're getting into. Um, because if you don't do this at first, then down the line people have a link to you, um, and then you change it, it means that those links now are bad and that they can't find you again. So make sure you kind of have some familiarity with that. But the settings section, Really kind of important to know because that's going to control a lot of intrinsic sections of WordPress. Yeah. I worked on the site, maybe I didn't work long enough, mm -hmm. but um, I was trying to customize my pages so I didn't have the key one for thing. Mm -hmm. um, I just wanted to say, you know, whatever.com slash about dash us dot html mm -hmm. and wasn't able to, to get it to work. So you weren't able to control the permalinks the way you wanted them to? If, if I, like, because that, that does it for the whole, for just site. that one page or the whole site? For the whole site. If you want to customize the permalink on a single page or a post, um, it's actually underneath the title. So um, here, this is the permalink, and you can click on that and actually change it here. So if that's what you want to change for an individual post or an individual page, that's where you do that permalink. So a post is going to appear with the date generally, but um, you can change that um, under the permalink. I'm sorry, I just for a page. For a page? Yeah. Um, a pa if you do the custom structure, um, you can customize this. These things you can look up in the documentation. And if that's not a good enough answer, I just want to table that for now and we can talk afterwards if, I, if that's okay. Yeah. Uh, how do you handle mobile? Uh, mm -hmm. I guess you don't want, you have to do it separately completely, or uh, is there any of the things you How do you handle mobile sites? Um, either the theme will have it built in, or, or you can get a plugin that will do it. So yeah, you, you just look for that when you're choosing a theme is probably the easiest way. Um, or if you already have a site built, then look for a plugin that does it for you. Yeah. Can you recommend any books that we could use to guide us a little more deeply along similar mm -hmm. steps? Mm -hmm. uh, books, I'm not the best on the like paper books, but the WordPress documentation is the central place I would go if you want reference on WordPress. Um, otherwise, I might look at online tutorials. There's like net toots, net t u t s videos. Um, WordPress.org uh, or w n y c org. Sorry, uh, did I say that right? I'm sorry. W p. W p. Yeah. Uh, let me pull it up. The tutorials there would be good as well. Um, Lynda.com, yeah, I use that as well. So um, there's lots of good online resources. I'm just not, yeah. Anybody have a book that they recommend? WordPress for Dummies. WordPress for Dummies, okay, good. Thanks. Yep, so um, sounds like 
everybody's wrapping up. I want to hang out for, for additional questions, but I don't want to keep everyone uh, waiting as a group. But um, do you guys feel like you have a little bit better handle, maybe learned a couple of things different? Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you for listening. I hope you learned something and got a good overview. Take advantage of those online tutorials. Um, if you go to nwc.co, you can find all our events uh, at nwc.co slash events. Um, dot org. There we go, wpnyc.org. Um, sorry for getting that URL um, mixed up. But take advantage of that. Um, but thank you. Hopefully you learned a few things. And keep in touch. Thank you.